course, you can't weigh it or measure it anymore because it's at the bottom of the East China Sea, but whatever. In case you can't comprehend that scale in your brain, it's about half the size of a 2023 Cadillac Escalade and probably half as deadly too. You get Yo, this is low key the type of car that Elon thought that he was making instead of the freaking Cybertruck. This is the type that he's fantasizing about when he goes to sleep. <laughs> if only I made this one. How's it going people? Jack here with another reaction to check out a new video from the Russian Badger. It's been a couple days so we're gonna check it out right now. And this one is on a game that is hasn't played in a while. It's World of Warships. Holy shit. Yeah, well, that one hasn't been touched on in years. Let me just like. It's called Robin $124 from a free-to-play game. Uh, that's not an easy task. Uh, World of Warships, I have it downloaded and... It takes some time to actually get some benefit from it if you aren't paying for the extra stuff for your ship. But I think that the progression is definitely something that you can do casually playing. But from the last batch of video. Heavenly told me that black people can sunburn and it made me feel even dumber. This man better not get me started again. Because if we have one more thing about <laughs> freaking melanated problems, I'm gonna die. Because the comments that you guys left were insane. Like, some was talking about how uh, very unfortunate and really sad they were, like, Asian and black, and how people in the community really did not accept them. That was freaking depressing. But some others were like, uh, black people and sunscreen. <laughs> Ain't no way. Like, bruh, come on. But enough goofing around, let us jump straight into the video. This video contains extremely loud noises, so if you're not a fan of landmines or rap songs from 2004, you should definitely leave right now. Okay, that's fine. Early 2000 this is cool. This game wanted to sponsor a video and give me a custom skin, so I made the USS Lobster Fest into a real thing. Just kidding. That's a lie. I tried to make it into a real thing, and it turns out that would be illegal. Like... Very illegal. Much like what? all Americans, I've read the Red Lobster Terms of Service, effective September 2020, and if you remember section 182, it clearly states, Lobster Fest, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Endless Shrimp, and Seafood Differently are all trademark terms of Red Lobster, which is- What? Yo, look at this. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> These are all the trademarks that you cannot touch on. Obviously, Godzilla, that makes straight up sense. But Admiral Feast, Dragon Ship, uh, uh, Shrimp, uh, Dragon Broccoli, what? Lobster tail, lobster fast. You can't touch it. What? What? <laughs> Yo, Red Lobster is out here acting like Nintendo and their trademarks. That's insane. Itself is also a trademarked term, which leads me to my main point. I cannot legally call my custom skin in World of Warships the USS Lobster Fest. I don't want smoke with any company that employs lawyers that are willing to trademark the term Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Count me out of that one, dog. Exposing myself to that kind of biscuit clam chowder based litigation would be a nightmare. I'm about to ruin your career. <laughs> so to avoid a lawsuit, I went with my backup name, the USS Lobsterminator. Uh, no enemy here, just a fuck ton of giant lobsters treading on the water. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have done better. I definitely could have done better. <laughs> USS Craw Daddy. The USS the Craw Daddy. Craw Daddy. Oh <laughs> I wanted the devs to make the blue paint of my ship automatically match the tone of the water like a chameleon. The lobster predator camo. flavored predator. But apparently adaptive lobster camouflage would have broken the fundamental balance of the game. So I guess I'm the asshole and the answer is no. Badger Jesus wanted adaptive Christ. lobster camouflage. <laughs> adaptive <laughs> lobster flage. That wasn't enough. I mean, if the devs are already giving you an inch, why not try to get an entire arm through or the whole body they also gave me my own custom flag and made me a commander so i'm now an in-game character that can scream at you that burning sensation you feel is a fire i personally wrote <laughs> and voiced over 200 custom voice lines which they approved every single one of so hey, shout out like to World Warships for giving me this kind of freedom victory just as the founding fathers intended <laughs> <laughs> What's even better is that my custom skin, flag, and commander are all available to you guys right now. So if you want me to yell at you, right, man, okay. that shoreline looks awfully unbombarded. Then use code Badger at the link below. And the flag may be free, but the other two you've got to earn. As a new player, you got to play 15 battles to unlock me as a commander and 30 battles for the Lobsterminator skin on the absolutely based Tier 6 USS <laughs> New Mexico. Based? 
On Based what? on what? I'll even throw in seven days premium time, a port slot, one and a half million credits, and 250 doubloons. All of those numbers will make sense eventually. Grind. I didn't forget about you existing players either, because you can unlock all three items as part of the in-game battle pass. Now that you're up to speed on the lobster situation, I can summarize the entire rest of this video with one word. Grind. See, my skin is on that tier 6 battleship I mentioned midway through the tech tree called the New Mexico. An entire ship filled with men fueled by fried chicken and meth sounded like a good idea for a joke, but I don't think y'all MFs are laughing. So whatever. Now the devs hey, gave that's me what's good. called a press account on an experimental beta version of the game, which has everything unlocked, a trillion gazillion dollar dollars. But then you don't get to pay as anybody else. Yeah, that that's the sad thing. Press accounts are made for game reviews, but like the game, you should at least try the multiplayer aspect of a free-to-play game like this one to get through it. In credits, the whole game is basically yours. But those servers were almost entirely filled with bots and having no progression yeah. just killed the excitement. Me dapping up another bot when I have 21 skill commander points, a press account, 86 billion gold in the world's best <laughs> shit. Hey, big dog. So I started a brand new account to unlock the New Mexico from scratch and grind out every item and upgrade I possibly could. One, Ooh. so I can see how much valuable loot I could rob from a free-to-play game by spending no money like an evil rat and two so i can understand every major mechanic of the game by starting from zero i may not be a smart man i may not love to read but i love learning how things work his ass is not reading his ass is not reading. <laughs> his ass is not reading i hope you're excited for 40 minutes of yapping about boats so grind on three one two three grind. first thing was using my own referral code for a head start with two free ships two and a half million credits 200 doubloons which were like real money by the way and mm -hmm. seven days of premium time which enhances all of the earning you do just another casual four hundred thousand credits in my brain i split the game between macro which is stuff like tech tree credits unlocks everything you do in port and micro which is the gameplay itself featuring all that boat on boat action oh no you're Come you're on. about to get hit with the doofenshmitz over here dog <laughs> oh no <laughs> on macro i wanted to be the filthiest rat possible St yo doofenshmitz by the way I, I always felt so sad for dr doofenshmitz from penis and verb because his name is just like idiot pain right Oh, the type of pain that you get hit by if when you're an idiot. Doofen Schmidt's pain. That's fucked up. That's no man, you cannot give your child a name like that. Also, the whole thing about his parents not being there for his birth. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Stacking every coupon, every crate, every credit, every doubloon. I want to take number go up to a whole new level. Pretend your homies are ordering pizza and I'm that one broke MF in the corner that isn't paying for shit that shouts across the room. <laughs> hey, yo, get wings! That is me on macro. A perfect example is daily login rewards, which is free shit you get just for logging into the game. I was on that day after day. Just got another 24 hours of premium time just for logging in. Count me in, Bubba. On micro... I was doing the opposite because Warships now has multiple ways to play like a rat with aircraft carriers and submarines and I was having none of that. I may sound like an asshole for saying this, but I play Warships to play Warships, not drift around as a floating airport and not to run a dolphin class designed for cowards. <laughs> Playing against these dudes is like showing me a picture of the Pacific Ocean, point out every square with a submarine. Fuck you. I immediately started stacking credits by speedrunning the baby ass tutorial missions that are as simple as playing a game winning. Okay, gotta be honest. Those bots kind of make you feel like a bot sometimes, don't they? Like, I swear to God, those I am not a robot tests are insane. Like, no, perhaps it's just me. But this might just be the way that robots encounter singularity when they start realizing that they are, in fact, robots. Like, you've been failing at the test, like, 10 times already because you cannot figure out if the traffic lights includes just the light or the poster they're standing on. Like, what in the actual hell? No, no, seriously, sometimes those things do cause me to have an existential crisis. Might be short, but it's still an existential crisis. Winning a game and equipping a skin, I'm not kidding you. The St. Louis I got from the referral code was perfect for this because cruisers have such a high rate of fire, it's like they're designed to steal kills for maximum XP games. Are you gonna let me take your kill, big guy? All right, check this out. I am such a fucking rat. I'm such a rat! <laughs> you Dude. bastard. Playing with a different ship every time. Kick my XP gain even higher because each win with a unique ship in a 24-hour period boosted my progression by 50 and in some cases 200%. I don't know how many of you are math majors, but 200% is triple the XP, yeah. which I took as an opportunity to relearn every ship type and destroyers were up first. These guys are the scouts of warships. They are super small, super fast, and super deadly because bombs may make a big boom, but you sink ships with torpedoes. 
Oh, uh, you fucking rat! Hey. You rat! <laughs> Straight to oh, it. No way. <laughs> it may be high risk, high reward, but the satisfaction of torpedoes hitting a target when you fire them 30 seconds earlier <laughs> cannot be topped. All right, let's just take a shot in the dark. Why not? If those keep going, those should hit them. Come on, baby! You can't outrun me. I'm the gingerbread man. Come on! Oh my it truly God! Makes that one damage. feel like holy <laughs> like an actual shit. genius. Just remember that destroyers exist to destroy. There's a reason they don't call them survivors. Come oh, on, yeah. baby! It's Come so on, Jover. baby! I'm it's just gonna so dodge. Jover. Yo, it's so <laughs> Jover. Jover! It's so Jover! Come on, baby! Fuck Every yeah! Oh my God, the hits! hits. All right, I'm on fire. I'm about to die. Yeah, there's no saving worth me, but it. it's totally worth it. That is Hang so on. worth it. Battleships are the opposite, being super big, super slow, and super tanky, like the Yamato, which is over 70,000 tons and nearly 900 feet long. Oh boy, that's that's a ship. I, I, I don't know that much about ships, but that's a ship. Of course, you can't weigh it or measure it anymore because it's at the bottom of the East China Sea, but yeah. whatever. In case you can't comprehend that scale in your brain, it's about half the size of a 2023 <laughs> Cadillac Escalade, and probably half as deadly, too. You get <laughs> Yo, this is low-key the type of car that Elon thought that he was making instead of the freaking Cybertruck. This is the type that he's fantasizing about when he goes to sleep. <laughs> if only I made this one. Hit by a 2023 you? Cadillac Escalade, that's a closed casket. They are not <laughs> that shit up for anybody. Uh, did you have your legs up on the dash? Real quick. Go to a new dimension. <laughs> Everything about them may be big and slow, but their range and firepower can be devastating. You gotta get oh up. my <laughs> god, from downtown? Cruisers are a middle ground in between those two extremes that I only use to spam high explosive shells and set everything on fire. You're not built to kill a battleship, but you are built to annoy the shit out of a battleship and pull his attention away from your teammates like a distracting pyromaniac. The ship is on fire. Submarines and carriers are for cowards, and every single one of them belongs off my screen at the <laughs> bottom of the ocean. This is gonna be so much damage, dude. That's a bullseye. Come on. Split in fucking two. That's 31,500. Fuck you. <laughs> And I dodge your torps. You're still a piece of shit. I hate you. Streaming this crusade on Twitch was a mixed blessing because on one hand, everything is more fun when you guys are around. Rock fell on my dino nuggy. The meteor wiped out the dinosaurs <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I need to stream while I'm recording. World of Warships was like, do you really need to stream this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> fucking yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but on the other hand, it led to you guys Q sniping me repeatedly, and my team never stood a chance. Oh, you're approaching me the and the, good on the other team. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, the <laughs> oh, oh, I. Okay. Oh, look, I can understand that my weeb ass says Japanese words, okay? I've made it pretty clear. Now, I've seen Badger feature some anime characters in his videos, and Jojo references are not unknown from this channel. But actually hearing him say the words... Damn! Oh. The upside to having viewers that can slap your shit is those same viewers can turbocharge your progress, and they put me on the fast track. I received so much useful advice in such a threatening manner, I can only describe it as aggressive kindness. Damn, Master Plow just DM'd me in game. I opened World of Warships just to tell you to take turret traverse, you slungoid. <laughs> <laughs> Did bro just like hit you with a nautical slur? What was he that? did. He absolutely did. <laughs> he hit me with a non-Euclidean slur. What the fuck? <laughs> Captain, shivers, timbers. <laughs> Citadel shots had to be the best piece of advice I received, because once I learned to aim along the waterline with armor-piercing shells, I can make an enemy's health disappear. Yeah, he's like five, I think, ten? Thanks like for those Citadel tips. I think I'm actually knowing how to hit a Citadel now. This is kind of tight. Oh my Honest, god, that advice is goaded. Holy, oh, holy god, shit. Damn. Yeah, you just so shoot wait. along the water line and then they explode because you hit him in the citadel. Water ADHD line. chief, who I see in chat right now, he DM'd me because he found my username on World of Warships and was like, yo, shoot along the water line, dipshit. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> there is one shot more powerful than a citadel so called a detonation where you strike an enemy's ammo filled magazine and the whole thing ignites like tannerite at a gender reveal party. When you watch the ATF shoot the fake dog full of tannerite. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, yo, that picture. Even after hundreds of games, I never got to see one because of safeguards that prevent them from happening. But if I ever do see oh. one, you'll know what my reaction will be. Motherfucker looks like he asked for the strongest potion. <laughs>
Dude got a taste of the speed force. the red pill and the blue pill. (laughs) I swear that knowing which shell to use and where to put it is half the battle in this game. I always thought HE breaks core components, sets fires, and does damage over time, with the downside that it can't crack armor, but it turns out that's wrong. Oh. Wait, what? Citadel with HE? The I also thought armor piercing always did more damage than HE because it's punching a hole through the target, but that's also wrong. Armor piercing can shatter and ricochet in what are called non-penetrations, uh, where they just bounce off the ship dealing yeah, yeah, zero yeah, yeah. damage, kung fu panda style. This is why you need Poe on the deck of your ship to just like... <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Kung fu panda? Yeah, yeah kung fu panda, panda too. Panda too? <laughs> It's a weird reference. No. It's a fucking cinematic masterpiece. You better fucking change your life. <laughs> Get your shit straight. Go watch Kung Fu Panda 2. This whole country's gone to shit because nobody's watched Kung Fu Panda 2. Arm piercing on tiny ships can also hit too hard with something called over penetration, where the shell punches all the way through, which mm. my lizard brain does not understand. That reminds yeah, me of much. my friend of mine. He would always go around roundhouse kicking flies and mosquitoes in his house, and I don't know why. He said he <laughs> No, 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 that is not noble behavior. <laughs> you can't turn into Chuck Norris every single time that you're flying your home. You are just roundhouse <laughs> kicking your wall. <laughs> the fly just happens to be there. That cannot be your strat. <laughs> right? You take so care of household pets. You would JoJo walk up to a fly <laughs> and just roundhouse kick it? <laughs> Uh, it did make oh, sense once I read the wiki on overpenetration. Basically, an armor piercing shell is designed to punch through armor, then explode so inside bad. of a ship. But if that ship is too tiny or too thinly armored, the shell rips right through the entire hull and into the water before exploding, which only deals minimal damage. Bruh. Four overpens and two ricochets make it make sense. I eventually figured out the nuances between shell types by spamming them at enemies from every possible angle and <laughs> configuration. Thankfully, this game treats ammo like a shower beer and makes it bottomless. I try to stretch out this shower beer for as long as humanly possible. (laughs) Makes it more economic. Yeah, the strategy is to hold the shower beer under the shower so it refills. Infinite Uh, beer uh, hack. (laughs) But then you're wasting water. And if shells are half the battle, positioning is the other half because it was a delicate dance to learn. Defensively, you want to angle to your enemy to present a smaller target, protect your citadel, and make his shells bounce. Offensively, you want to be broadside so you can fire all your available cannons and really crank up the pain. Your mother showed me her broadside. Why is Lat worse than the joke? Yeah. Dude, this sounded like the skeletal. <laughs> He's on that Mark Hamill <laughs> kind of laughter. It keeps topping out. Once I reached tier 5, I was starting to feel like a real player and not just some dipshit that used a referral code because I was killing humans instead of bots and taking wins over losses. As long as you don't look at those torpedoes, we're all good, dog. Just don't look at them. Just don't look at them. Just keep looking at me, big dog. Just look. Look at the perfection. Oh, Thank you. How is Nadra just naturally no tactics for this game, dude? Playing a destroyer involves being a rat bastard, which comes very <laughs> natural to him. Absolutely. <laughs> and now that I'd sunk Born my teeth into the game, I couldn't get over how much I enjoyed the slower pace. This is a game that favors brain over reflex and prediction over reaction, which was a breath of fresh air compared to my usual titles. It was a blast to be able to play the game, talk to Twitch chat, and catch up with my buddies without being overwhelmed like I usually am on stream. That way, I could finally ask Skulker what he'd do with a genie that granted him three wishes. Okay, I want to revoke oh. Bernoulli's principle so wings no longer work <laughs> no. And, and airplanes are just cancelled. <laughs> okay, there's four things you can't wish for. I want to multiply gravity by a factor of nine <laughs> just to see what happens. I wanna... Skulker, calm down. <laughs> calm the fuck down. I don't think that you guys understand what it means when he says revoke Bruno's principle. Yo. <laughs> this makes my physics brain hurt. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be forced to give you an explanation. For those who care, stick around. For those who don't, continue on this time mark here. Because you guys know me, I like to leave you with a little bit of uh, knowledge to to leave the video feeling a little bit smarter or at least a bit more curious. So when it comes to Bernoulli's principle, right? It applies, it, it applies, what the fuck? I'm starting to make up words like the worms that Badger made. But this one deals with aeronautics, that field of study that explains how things move through mediums like fluids and 
In the case of plane wings that moves through air, if you look at the cross section of a wing, the air on the top of the wing, because of its shape, will have a longer travel time. And so, to compensate for the shorter travel time that it has underneath the plane wing, it will have to travel a lot faster. So this will mean that on top of the wing, there will be a higher pressure, whereas on the bottom, there will be a much lower pressure. This is actually the phenomenon that explains how there is this updraft for the plane to go up. To express that in the form of an equation, I just put the cross section of a plane wing here that I might be displaying after this video. You just have to take, let me just see here if I can take a different color, the uh, area, the cross section area here of the top that we are going to call A1 and V1, which is the velocity of the streamlined air that is coming out there. And of course, that at the bottom, which is going to be A2 and its velocity v2 and this equilibrium is of course what we are calling the continuity equation if you've ever heard of that that is what it is but we can then take that an extra step when we're talking about let's say the ships in world of warships because in the case that you've ever asked yourself why in the hell is it that the docks are not just solid why do they have these tiny protrusions underneath them well it is to preserve the equilibrium between the ship and the dock to make sure that it doesn't slam into it and also this is described by Bernoulli's principle because there's going to be a pressure coming from this side of the ship that we're gonna call P1, there needs to be a pressure that counteracts that of P1 that we're gonna call P2 to prevent this from happening. And because of the difference in height from the dock and the ship and the level of water, of course, there's gonna be a difference in energies coming from those two pressures. So I took the liberty of writing Bernoulli's, Bernoulli's equation there. That's a weird S. Uh, this is just more or less the same thing as the uh, continuity equation that we saw before, where we're just this time around including such things as the density of water, because it's no longer air, it's actually water this time. And we see such things as gravity and the height difference where the water levels are in comparison to the different things, whether we're talking about the dock or the ship. So if you remember this thing, right, gravity times uh mass or less the density we're just talking about mass and the height this of course gives us the energy the potential energy whereas this one where we start moving we're talking about the kinetic energy so this is more or less what we're talking about when we're talking about Bernoulli's equation or just the Bernoulli principle. So putting that aside, when Skolka says that he wants to have the Bernoulli principle removed, it will be the equivalent of saying, Abandon reason! Because it literally breaks the laws of everything that we understand. That would have been the same as saying that, yeah, forget the North Pole, forget gravity, we don't want any of that. I know that I went out of my way to explain a joke and it might have ruined it, but if you can leave away from the commentary of this video with something, please take how you can write the Bernoulli's equation. That might help a lot in the future. I want to remove I want friction. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not explaining yeah, this. Good. And then I want to make all fresh water salt water and I want to make all salt water fresh water. <laughs> all sea life also, dies. All fish it also kills all yeah. the wildlife. <laughs> Everything in the ocean dies. No, I love that from bees. Like, what do you want, Skulker? I want to repeal Bernoulli's yeah. principle. All right, there's four things you can add. <laughs> I want to put a negative sign in front of gravity just to see what happens. And then, yeah, like double world hunger or something. I don't know. <laughs> the genie, when I ask him to make every electron a proton. Oh my God, like, oh, no, if you remove inertia skull skulker, it's got to be just like that guy that's just heating up in that diner. You know, this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like all of his particles are moving, but he's sitting still. At this point, I felt I had the micro part of the game figured out because my gameplay was decent. I could sink ships and I was winning some of the time. The credits and XP were definitely flowing in but if i wanted to maximize my economic rewards it was time to go macro i gotta start gambling for real macro to me is basically all the things you do in port and i got so deep into this shit it felt like a game within a game remember that i'm spending no money here i'm the broke mf not paying for the pizza that yells get wings so all of my actions were built around free loot i had my stack down to a science in order to maximize the free shit i could gain every day every day i'd log in for the daily reward it's completely free just for booting up the game santa's gift container hey i got a santa's gift container 
Gainer, 24 hours premium, 750. That's a super, 50K, I'll take it. Picking up the 50, 750, same as yesterday. On top of that, the first time I ever booted up the game, I got a free drop just for reading an article because I'm a filthy rat. Then I go to the armory and claim some more free shit at the bottom of the featured page. Check my history, Leave 50 to balloons, to balloons, which is real money, by the way. Container, container, free day a premium, promotion for a game like this, entertaining. free XP, container, and you better believe my ass will be here tomorrow. <laughs> my next victim was the three daily containers they give you for gaining 37,000 XP, which usually only takes a handful of games if you win. Then I quad stack missions from calendar, dockyard, combat, and campaigns. Do not let the fancy terms fool you. These are all just missions that are extremely straightforward. Playing in a battle is a mission. Letting the other team beat the shit out of you is a mission. <laughs> you don't even need to win any of these games to complete the objectives. <coughs> like you increase your access level, which is just the level of your account, simply by completing battles, win or lose. The big one is level 15, because the game absolutely showers you in rewards along the way. 13 million credits, nine days premium, five containers, countless boosters, and even 500 doubloons in real money gold. Using the boosters in addition to my premium account made me stack crates and credits at a ridiculous rate. A premium account already boosts your credit gain by 50% and your XP by 65%, but I put on boosters that jacked my gains by 800 and in some cases 2400% per game. Chat's favorite Holy part of this shit. grind were the crate openings, and it was downright sublime to open box after box of high value items like a dirty rat, knowing I had spent zero dollars in the game. The Santa crates I opened gave me a thousand doubloons, four dollars. 30 days premium, $10. Tier 6 free reach, $28. And tier 7 Yukon, $40. Damn, I got 30 days of premium time. That's fucking insane. Add that to the 500 dubs from the leveling, 175 from campaigns, and the tier 7 premium I got from the calendar mission worth 9,800. And double checking my math here, I have effectively robbed this game of $124 of value. <laughs> and even if you're a stickler that wants me to take out the premium time drop, fine. $114 of value. I even spent all the money. I made like a rat by abusing the sequential bundles in the shop. Basically, if you buy certain bundles in order, they give you a massive discount. So to continue my streak as a coupon clipping bastard, <laughs> I got Santa Crate 60% off, two days premium 82% off, two more Santa Crates 76% off, and a final big Santa Crate 79% off. I want him to do something similar to, to this with Raid Shadow Legends, how to scam the game. <laughs> That could be fun, like a quick progression uh, schedule that one can follow. But just when I was starting to feel like a genius, I made the worst trade deal in the history of World of Warships trade deals by selling my tier 7 premium Yukon for 7 million credits. Bang! Oh. Sell that for 7 million uh, credits. And it's safe to say that those of you on Twitch did not exactly approve of that move. You goof! You goofy ass! <laughs> you bingus! Rip! No! Dumbass! Damn! You fucking goober! Money grinding for T8 and up Lamont Wermst! Re! Chad is upset for this one. Did he sell the Ship. Yeah, I got rid of it. It's gone. Stupid North trash. I will <laughs> blow you up like Michigan, Michigan. <laughs> you fucking goober. But chat forgot that the only ship I care about is the tier 6 USS New Mexico that has my Lobsterminator skin. I don't give a shit about tier 7. Chat, oh, well. I'm here to tell you right now. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we don't Nothing. care. I sold it for 7 million. I was never going to play tier 7. My favorite part of this crate opening experience was learning that there is actual tech to opening loot boxes in this game. Because when you earn a container, you have a choice of which one to select. More economic rewards, more signals, oh. more camos, more coal, or try your luck. You see, every time you open a crate, there so is that a tiny chance why that he crate is upgraded to, to a super container that gives you better loot. The safe bet that almost everybody recommends is more coal, because it's a currency you can steadily stack up over time and buy ships. Like, I bought the tier 5 premium Marblehead this way. As a matter of fact, I used a coupon for an extra 25% off, because I'm a seething rat that cannot be stopped. But as I was saying, <laughs> that last option, Try Your Luck brought the dark urge out of all of my buddies because it's a roll of the dice. If you select this option, your chances of winning a super container go up. But if you lose and you don't land the super container, you'll be stuck with a smaller container instead with lesser loot. You guys know how much I hate gambling and how spilled salt <laughs> unlucky I am with loot boxes after the CSGO video? You are yeah. the least lucky person on earth. Nah. I'd win. Uh, no, I'd win, bro. No, I'd outgamble so, you for sure. And as hilarious as it is to have a game mechanic where you can gamble on a gamble, I learned to just take the coal and move on. Do not listen to the intrusive thoughts of my homies. You will never win 36 straight hands of blackjack in your life. You are 36 okay. games of blackjack away from me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, really <laughs> Hitting the statistical anomaly would go crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest part of this entire grind to unlock the Tier 6 New Mexico is that all of my very best footage came at the worst possible time. The 
stream where we were absolutely stacking XP, playing tier 4s and tier 5s where we won 9 out of 10 games, including an 8 game win streak, was the same oh. stream where we barely focused on the game and the entire conversation yeah, that's was how out we of goes. I was talking to Pasta about how I didn't know he was black. You started cracking a fresh can of soda every time someone placed an order. You here we go again. Using his gamer subs code, which made his sprite loving girlfriend furious. And Skulker poured what? gas on the fire by trying to min max the situation so Goose cracked and wasted as many cans as possible in the name of carbon footprint. The whole situation is very confusing to me too, but apparently the <laughs> less I talk about the game I'm playing, the better oh, my performance in that game becomes. Pause, are you half white? I'm not any white. It's not Hispanic any and black, white. my guy. Oh, you're black? I did not know you were black. <laughs> I knew you were Hispanic. <laughs> I did not know you were black. How did you not know this? You're Dominican. That's pretty much just like Mexican and black, right? That's just no, I but I've only no. been Dominican again. No, no. I, I have only Dominican? ever. I you were no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I have what only kind of ever are? heard Pasta talk about being Hispanic. I've never heard of him. What, what kind of? What is he? Colombia. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Colombia. Correct. Uh, I have hold on, Colombia. He, call him Dominican before. Dominican Republic, like on one end you have Puerto Rico, on the other side you have the place where our queen used to import her illegal cigars in Cuba. Yeah, w w our queen was fantastic. She's a gangster. Uh, no, <laughs> then you sail uh, you, on your pirate ship down the Caribbean Sea and you encounter that place where um, uh, Jackie Chan and uh, used to embezzle money, as well as <laughs> the shootout in Max Payne 3. Uh, on the, the Panama Canal. Yeah, I have fun ways to remember geography. So from that point on, it's like Costa Rica, Nicaragua, El Salvador, uh, Honduras. I'm, I'm not trying to flex on geography. I'm literally just trying to remember where the hell Colombia is. Fuck. Okay. I, I can't. Oh. Few moments. I'm an absolute idiot. The only, literal only thing that I should have asked was, where is the oil? I thought about like an American. Venezuela, then you get Colombia right beside it. I'm an idiot. And then, of course, uh, Guyana, where you they also speak French in the French part of Guyana. Yeah. Well, great. I have definitely heard that. Nowhere before. near the Dominican Republic. Oh my I god, I said Adele. You think that I was perfection spell right there. Chat's like, oh, you're <laughs> you black. I can spell beer. Dominican. I'm just oh, asking oh, if he's oh, black. Oh, oh, I didn't oh, mean oh, anything oh, by oh, it. Oh, oh, I also yeah. just asked him if he was white five seconds earlier. <laughs> you had no you're issue white. with that. Oh, you're white? Melanin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just keep cans around so you can say shit? Fuck it, I'm doing it for Pack your can. Oh no! Do it on the edge. I hope it's a soundboard. <laughs> this is the way. No, no, no. That's no. got to be a soundboard. Soundboard. Thanks, game. I hope shit. that is a soundboard. It's not about a 12 pack today. I just opened seven. Bro. <laughs> Hey, you better have Haley. I'm not going to comp you a 12 pack. I have to commit. Taxi fine. <laughs> if you don't grab a boot and right, shotgun it, all of them I'm right now. At damn. least I'm wasting Sprite and not gamer subs. Use code. <laughs> <laughs> you can promote your own gamer subs. That's fine. Black lung, baby. Black, no. Black lung. 10% off, motherfucker. Well, he's definitely black then. Run that shit! Anyway, fuck Sprite, it's I'm pouring all this out. Dog, that got me laughing dude. so hard, my body heated up, and I gotta take my hoodie off. <laughs> now, use code pasta because you didn't know I was black. Use code vagrant. <laughs> Drink some water for once in your fucking life. No. Really? No! Yeah, geez. No, I Citadel, oh, forget about first. it, forget about it. The Citadel is basically see. like an 80s action movie. You hit them in the right spot, they just explode. <laughs> Photo evidence of the nine <laughs> open sprites on my desk right now. You were right. right. yeah, yeah. a curse <laughs> to <laughs> each other, right? That sprite bit was fucking worth it. I sold an order that was $70 one minute ago. Appreciate you, dog. Incredible. Appreciate you, dog. My girlfriend was like, you're wasting so much. It's going to pay for itself, sweetie. Say yeah. goodbye to Mr. Beauvais. Die. <laughs> Holy shit, well done. Well done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I was fighting the shadow people. I'm here. I'm here. I love how Skulker joined mm, and played the mm. Lego Yoda death sound the second I killed that shit. <laughs> does it play that when you join? It does. You want to see? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, shit. Two of them. Hang on. These are my last two in this case. I got another one, though. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for buying gamers. He's going to have to go to the store. You're more. making Goose's whole ass night. Yeah, baby.
<laughs> <laughs> You're making up for the sprite loss. Double barrel. His girlfriend will live him up to this. You can't do that. Stop. Damn, he's just styling. You're just styling on him now. He pulled both triggers. Wow. Holy fuck, another order. Dude, if I get through another 12 pack of sprite, I'll start going through the coach. Come on, my dude. Think of how legendary the picture will be by the end, though. Run into me, please. Oh my God, he's Get the duct tape. Please. And just, and... Yo. Please. Yo. Yo, by the way. Yes, I just <laughs> fucking crushed him. That was perfect. Oh, right oh wait, I'm flooding. Another crack oh, wait, I'm flooding. Now I'm good. Because I sold another order, motherfucker. 4721-7198. I see you, king. <laughs> this is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever done for a living. Anyway, my point was that this is the most carbon we've ever produced in this voice call. I recycle. I recycle. All right. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't care he if you drink them. Bush Digger, it is not in the contract that he has to chug, <laughs> chug every that bitch. Sprite. He would die. It's not he a, would not there do is not a, There is 38 grams of sugar in one. See, I, I, I don't drink sodas. Like, the most that I do... White monster because shit is sugar free. You have zero sugar. What you only have there is like uh, some amino acids, some taurine, of course, and caffeine. So that's what you get. That's literally what you get. Thirty-eight grams of sugar. How 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 many cans do you have? One can. I think I've opened fourteen cans because I opened. Three hundred. No, no, five hundred and thirty-two grams of. Oh no, mm -mm. half a kilo of sugar, dude. Even the new 12 pack. I'm, there I'm are not saying a word. grams of sugar in front of you right now, just in liquid Jesus form, Christ. At this like. point, I, I am gonna build like a fucking mech. <laughs> some shit, shout out. <laughs> I need them to get louder and louder, and just more and more gain. Crank the gain on your nah. mic and right, max it out right. in Windows. Discord oh, output volume max. It's See, gotta be triple boosted. Setting. All right, levels. 100. All right, the game. Get ready, boys. Uh -oh. This is the final step towards enlightenment. <laughs> All right, let me make sure no, like, echo cancellation or anything is on right now. Oh, boy, he's, he's peeking. Dude. He's peeking. No, no, no noise suppression. No automatic game control. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. All right, shh. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a recoil, dude. It's like oh, stepping on a like mine. Crack it open a torpedo, dog. Oh my <laughs> Splitting God. time and space asunder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you are still boosted. <laughs> you are still oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned how to throw thing over the summer. <laughs> By the way, terrible news. Need to go get another sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anyone ever tell you loud isn't funny. Loud, loud is it is in fact funny. funny. I'm goose to record the next one, and I'm gonna take it into audition and add as much bit crush as I can get my hands on. But you gotta do it like the oh, portal bit song. Crush, eh? You know that guy that bit crushed the portal song? Oh my god, is that ever hilarious? You know the portal song? Did it? Did it? He bit crushed it so hard. It's just like so depressingly funny because of how much he crushed it. Oh. It's so crunchy. For the sake of not just like straight up wasting beverages now, this is the last spray. Girlfriend has vetoed the bit. She's like, why are you wasting all our fucking spray? Just give me a crisp recording. Wait, 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 here you go. Oh. Okay, that was nice. Perfect. The crisp one. <laughs> All right, All right chat. All right, chat. That's the last one. It's just like a landmine going on. Yes, dude. I was about to say landmine. Wait, okay. how many sprites do you have left? Ten. Oh God, Yo, so can oh you negotiate God. with her? I tried, dude. <laughs> retry the speech check. Retry the speech <laughs> check. Go back. Christ, dude. It's a white yeah. check. You can retry <laughs> this. I'm already Just save scum. Go back. I'm doing an Iron Man. Man. I'm doing an Iron Man run of this relationship, yeah, like, bro. I can't go back. Every sprite just gets me closer to the bad ending, bro. Anyway, Check this out. Look how many peak mic is peak content. Oh my God. What, what will turn, oh. it turn it up. Turn it's it up. Turn it up. So not turn it up. Turn oh it yeah. Up. Okay, you got it. No, you got it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> oh, that's cursed. Hold on. No, you're, you're summoning. No. You're summoning an old god. Please stop. <laughs> you have an okay, okay. compressor. All right. Okay. 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 Even louder for that guy. Oh my god, get, I hit negative a three four. citadel. I basically 100 to zero. <laughs> I like how in the mid time.
<laughs> in the middle of all this, Badger's just annihilating everything. Oh, damn, holy shit. This is holy your shit. only warning to take your headphones off. This is your only warning. Right, I'm, oh, gonna I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna withstand. <laughs> oh, reverse. <laughs> you can uncrack the can. We figured out a way. Do that to my eight cans. So uncrack can eight cans. Uncrack my eight. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit Finally back in the can, so bro. Good. No, officer, I'm not drunk driving. I'm not drinking while driving. Observe. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> there you go, easy money. Uh, uh, no, I guess I'll just... All that work, it did exactly what I wanted, and then I needed it. Hate to so say a skulker, but you, you know, you might be washed for real. Skulker ain't never washed. I got four Citadel hits, and I got all my tasks done. And now that I've gained all these credits, all this XP, played hundreds of battles, and finally unlocked the Tier 6 New Mexico battleship, you know what the tragedy is? I'm dog shit with it. <laughs> I am so terrible with this ship. I am absolutely hopeless with the USS New Mexico. You have no idea how embarrassing it is for a developer to make you a commander, give you a custom flag, and, then and you a suck custom at it. skin on a ship, <laughs> only to have that ship be your worst performing vessel with a 35% win rate. Well below my average of 54% and barely above the threshold of winning one out of every three Aww. games. When they asked me what ship I wanted from a list of 11, I not only picked the New Mexico for the obvious jokes I can't make anymore, but it seemed like such a wacky ship that I just couldn't pick anything else. This thing is crazy tanky and crazy powerful. Both the ship and the cannons are unbelievably heavy. This is the heaviest song we have ever written! Man, it's darling. I really thought she liked me. <laughs> but the downside of that heavy weight is that it's also crazy slow and crazy inaccurate. It's basically a drunken juggernaut wheeling a grenade launcher with syrup on his boots. Every battle is a giant roll of the dice with the most confusing odds imaginable. Uh, I can dodge some of these. Maybe? Uh, he he pinged no. you. They're homing you. It's GG. Oh. oh. Not on that one. Oh, nice. Oh. Yo, if I get this guy, this gotta be. I mean, that's gotta be good hits. It just might not be enough to kill him. No, I got him. Oh Fuck God. yeah. All right, that's still right. worth it. That's <laughs> still worth it. worth it. Blasting the cannons on this thing is like trying to snipe someone a mile away with buckshot. The dispersion is a joke and frequently makes a cartoon outline of bullet holes <laughs> around your target. But even with this laundry list of flaws, I still love the New Mexico with all my heart. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. But when she goes, she really fucking goes. Uh, you no way it. this hits, right? Like, no way that hits. How far away could I nail somebody from? I just got a random Citadel hit. I thought I was missing all of those shots. I don't think that's gonna make it, Tom. No. I gotta look those way farther out. Oh my god, is I hit, hit the Citadel Herboku. That that's what that damage is. <laughs> also, I just fucking realized there's lobsters trailing you in your <laughs> wake. Yeah. Yo, that's so good. Twitch chat ended up getting the last laugh on me because I not only ended up playing a tier 7 battleship, but also winning a ranked game at tier 7 by ramming into somebody. But here at the end of the video, you have no idea how incredibly satisfying it feels to have figured out how this game works on a fundamental level. I may still suck, but now I understand understand the economy, the progression, the combat, all the parts that fit together to make a cohesive game. And I found this learning process incredibly satisfying. Yeah. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping make all of this happen. Without your viewership, I'd never have custom skins and I'd never be able to make a video like this. Go Food is just dirt. We made it in different <laughs> shapes according to Sigrid. <laughs> so true. So true. Do not forget to yeah. try out World of Warships for free using my link below with code Badger if it's not already there. So you can enjoy my voice, my skin, and my flag just as much as I have. And a final shout out to all of yeah well saying that you we can enjoy your skin sounds kind of weird but yeah get it <laughs> you subbed with notifications on even if you're like skulker and you just do it to hate i'm still thankful for notification you. gang going just to hate i'll be in the comments like this dude a bitch every time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just hating you're wack if you're hating but funny you're better see i yeah. love hating and what funny i know some sausage edge fingers type That's this right, tweet <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Did said that to Skulker? I know some sausage. My dude is called Diamond Thief <laughs> One Hater. <laughs> I mean, as <laughs> fingers type this tweet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>
And that's about it, dog. That's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching my video, and more specifically, watching my video all the way to the end. That just means the world to me. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, and be sure to tune in next time when it's probably Lethal Company or something like that. Oh. I tell you what, my ass is sleeping in tomorrow. Dang. A Lethal Company Badger video is bound to be the most chaotic thing that I've ever seen. Like, I've seen the one with Lythero. Oh my god, it... <laughs> if he's featured in there... Oh no, no, it's gonna be a disaster. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Of course, please do make sure to go and like the original content. I hope that you watched that one first before you came and watched this one because this is not a substitute. That being said though, we should also have a wonderful day. Of course, like, subscribe if you want to see more of my content. There's also some original stuff that I've been putting out all throughout the week and months and uh, so please make sure to also check that and i wish you all to have a wonderful day see you guys in the next one bye